Today's amazing Suncoast woman has been dubbed a superhero by Goodwill, Minnesota. ABC 7's Linda Carson joins us now with her story. Linda. Joe Rita Stevens is a whirlwind of activity. Secretary of the Board of Trustees of the First United Methodist Church, active with the Sarasota Historical Society and a host of other organizations. And her life had a very strange beginning. Joe Rita Stevens spent the first six months of her life in Riley's Children's Hospital in Indianapolis. I had a tumor at the end of my spine that as a young child they told me was another baby that didn't develop. And these cloudy pictures are the hospital records she recently obtained of her birth. And when they removed it, they had evidence of that. Oh. So it, it was to have been another child. But Joe Rita had no health problems growing up. My mother was deaf and uh, she couldn't hear anything. And we never learned sign language, but she was great at reading lips. After high school, she became a flight attendant. I went to airline school in Kansas City, Missouri, and went on, went to work for TWA. But it was a short career. Because in those days, in the early 50s, a woman couldn't be a flight attendant when she got married. As she stayed home to raise her two boys, she started volunteering. When my boys were early, <clears throat> early PTA days mm -hmm. as a president and on the school board. She also volunteered for Goodwill, where she was volunteer of the year, and for the Kiwanis, because they served the children's hospital where she was born. And she started a career. I worked for not only the state treasurer, but the lieutenant governor of the state. But after her boys married and her marriage ended, she moved to Sarasota. It was my turn to do what I wanted to do. She got a job. I went to work for Caldwell Banker, and it was not only good to me, it was good for me. She continued to volunteer for Goodwill, and what she learned helped her when her 32-year-old son was diagnosed with MS. I was able to cope with the MS and the handicap much easier had I never had the experience around handicapped people mm -hmm. like I did at Goodwill. And her life lesson? To give back. And don't, don't, don't see a stranger. Jorita turns 85 on November 19th, and she's inviting everybody to a big party at Pioneer Park. Don't bring her a present, just a donation for Goodwill or for the Kiwanis.